Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome back to tutorial number 24. And in this tutorial, we are going to take a look at the substring function. Okay, now what the substring function does is cut one piece of a string out of another string. Okay, so in other words, you could search for um, some words in a really long sentence and only cut out the words that you want or you could take a string and cut it up letter by letter and then print out each letter one at a time. And those are things that I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Okay, so let's see the substring function in action. But in order to do that, I just want to create a variable first called Peter. And then we're going to set this equal to the string that we're going to work with. Uh, so the string that I have so conveniently chosen is it's like you want to be thin and healthy but there is pizza and make sure you make a few typos otherwise it won't work okay so I just need to escape that uh, single quotation there okay and now we can take a look at this substring function. Okay. And basically the name for this function is sub str, which you guys can guess stands for substring. Okay. And uh, this substring function actually takes three different arguments. Um, the first argument is the string that we want to cut some words out of. Uh, in this case, we already have a string over here. It's called pizza. Uh, so let's go ahead and just uh, throw our variable pizza in over here. Okay. Then the second argument that we need is where do we want to start cutting from? Okay. So... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in the value of 5 over here and this means we're going to start cutting from 5 characters or from our 5th character in this string uh, which if you count 1, 2, uh, skip this um, uh, escape character because that's escaping uh, this so this is actually part of our string so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 okay so that means we're going to start cutting just before the L for like. Okay, and after that, the last argument that we need is basically how many characters do we want to cut for? So I'm going to go ahead and put in the value of 4 over here, and that means we're going to start from the fifth position and cut out 4 characters. So when I save this and go back to Firefox, I should get, I didn't save this, did I? Nope, I did. Okay, noob mistake. Um, I didn't put echo in front of this. <laughs> A little bit noob. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save that now. Uh, come back and click refresh. And there we go. So I have the word like printed out in the browser which, by the way, you guys should really go ahead and click that like button. Uh, you know, it's really going to help my channel. Okay, but that's not all we can do with our substring function because we can actually combine this with some of the previous functions we've learned about uh, in the previous tutorials. And that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. So I'm going to create a variable called find and we'll set this equal to uh, some word that we want to find in the sentence. So let's say we want to find the word uh, healthy. Okay. And then I'm going to create another two variables over here. Okay. And the first one we're going to call start. So this will be where we want to start cutting from. And obviously, we're going to start cutting from wherever we can find the word healthy. And we know how to do that because we've learned about the string position function. Uh, okay, so we want to look for 
we want to look in um, our string pizza and we want to find the word healthy which is stored in our variable find okay so now we have our starting position let's get an ending position so uh, end would be str len so it would be the length of our word that's in the variable find so str len find and now all we got to do is change our start to our start variable and the how long we should cut for to our end variable okay now when we save this um, we should find the word healthy in the sentence and then print it out on the screen so let's click refresh and there we go that's awesome now the reason why I spaced this out like I did is because we haven't learned a how to get user from the data uh, data from the user user from the data confusing okay we haven't learned how to get data from the user and uh, that's what we're gonna learn uh, later on but this would be um, part of that this would be basically getting user getting data from the user I nearly said it again and uh, this would be uh, us just processing everything and uh, that's actually processing as well but with output okay okay so now we've looked or we've searched for a word in our string and then we've uh, printed it out or cut it out and then printed it out okay now let's take a look at how to print one letter of our string on a line okay uh, and to do that I'm actually gonna borrow some code from tutorial number 22 so if you guys don't have this code watch tutorial number 22 I do explain uh, all of that um, so let's just go ahead and just paste it over here okay and basically what this code did was I created a variable uh, called name and I stored my name in that and then I got the length of this variable so my name is seven characters long uh, and that's what this variable holds so basically after that we made a loop and we looped starting from zero and going up until the length of my name which is seven so from zero to seven uh, we were looping uh, and we're just incrementing by one each time so all I have to do now is change this uh, echo to substring because uh, we're going to use the substring function here and obviously the string that I need to cut from is the string name uh, or the variable name and then I'm going to cut from so the starting position that I'm going to cut from is our variable I which we uh, are using in the loop and then how long do I want to cut for well, like I said, I just want to print one character on each line. So I'm just going to cut for one character. So I don't have to have a variable for that. I'll just put in the number one. And now when I save this and click refresh, I now have my name printed out in the browser, one letter per line. So how cool is that? And that's actually all I have for you guys in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment, like or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys next time.